in David's absence, their God of the Confederates and all of its variations and all of its cosigners have the capacity to have killed law long, long ago and having not received any remedy to the function of the Confederates destroying the United States in that arrangement generate as a permanent interest to have continued to have destroyed David, including but not limited to the illegal reduction of status with its validations, which generates a position from their surveillance mechanism where they hire the average person by the Wizards Council and then set up uh, any number of them. Let's call it five for a particular specific set. They can switch who they are referring to for the representatives amongst the five at any given time, given the capacity for them by the enforcement of the chaos to engage in irritations by the person of fame who would then be irritated by the act of exchange just by even if they understood what was happening in real life the function would be exacerbating which is the point in their pseudo improv um you know nerd theater type arrangement but exacerbated as hybrid warfare and to this extent the representatives chosen by the wizards council without authority who are certifying this for the position of validating their communism, have given the position as a Soviet communist for the white supremacists the validation of their objectives according to their ritual abuses distributed in the black market, which are then resold as subordinate functions to other parties who make deals with devils who engage in the function of actively giving them their specific sub-portion of the interest, making it an active market. And to this extent, those validations from the second parties generates a consistent defamation arrangement, as everyone involved pretends it is the t primary title, such as the target, um, in this arrangement, David. And to the extent that the defamation works and they certify a false record for the reduced status or other interests for their communism, the more secure they are in their overthrowing of the United States for the Confederate lynch mobs. At which point, everything you understand to be true about the Confederacy would actively become more and more normalized as they come out of their shell and stop pretending to be something else until they're full frontal themselves, which they've actively been doing as they have zero loyalty to the Constitution and therefore are not Americans. And to this extent, these active exchanges engage in any number of different variations of contracts specifically related to the targets, at which point the representatives, having accepted the deal with the devil to be on the position, have an obligation of representation and are not the party, and thus the contract being with David or the other targets cannot happen because they aren't a the communicating party to the extent that the representatives have done so they've done so for the advancement of the thing that would be interesting about the original association which is provided under their various mechanisms such as the nonprofits, which have hyper accelerated um, targets to people of interest because that would be the enjoyable thing for their specific specialty and to this extent they're given that position for that specialty and represent the thing wrong for the fraudulent representation in the record which then materializes into the laundered section and to this extent it engages as a permanent defect as the targets being restrained are not capable of doing the particular thing and thus the agents around are setting the schedule for the targets in order to sell their false illusionary uh, narrative according to the biases derived by the abuse theater that they wrote from the kidnapping um, you know you kidnap someone like 
take for instance the example from Taken. The person gets kidnapped and the contract schedule is the person gets drugged and sold for sex. The act of consistent drugging, the chaining them to the uh, particular facets of the desired narrative engages in the non-ability to have escaped and thus it is directly and overwhelmingly the action of the kidnapper from everything in the contract schedule engaging in the defamation and especially the embarrassment as the act of having kidnapped the person is the overpowering of the person and thus the express position of having not been able to have made their own decision and thus their inability to have made the decision blocks their contract schedule from the estimate and allows for the communism to be enforced. In the absence of the party, the thing that they would be doing isn't available, such as the position with David is the aristocracy choosing the Congress and the Senate. And thus they don't have an interest in that, so they want to make him the general, which just switches how the status is used, engaging in the intelligence oversight under Congress, which is their particular interest, which has its own sets of problems, which then they seek to collapse on the status, which is the beginning of the crime. And to this extent, they engage in the perpetual voter fraud, including the sedition of conducting uneducated, non-sober, non-extorted votes, as they're threatened in any number of different ways by the government and its fake experiments and the equipment derived by the experiments in order to engage in the permanent and impermanent injuries sustained by the Confederates in their terrorist operations to overthrow the government, as these are systemic coups. Thus they intend, as accessories before the fact, for a crime to happen, and thus they plan out the crime, and thus they engage in doing the crime, accessories during the fact, and thus they engage in protecting themselves from a remedy, accessories after the crime, which becomes the position of a single crime going on for years and decades and so on. And thus the action of having restrained it from the public view, engaging in the action of the accessories, makes it a single offense. And thus, there is no expiration date because the offense is ongoing. And thus, the act of having kidnapped the person, they say that, you know, you do a crime and then you do another crime, and then they just kind of blur into each other. And they feel that their strategy has maximized their inability to be punished adequately for for their ability to get punished on it removes the count's effectiveness and thus superimposes on itself their um, agreement to the death sentence as their secret society cult function each and every person who engages with the initiation ceremony would have had to have committed severe crimes so that they might be punished if they ever betrayed the group and thus the engagement of the confederacy is a death cult at which points any number of different offensive crimes are consistently reproduced under that system including the mechanism from the permanent set of the blackmail arrangements by the fbi and cia and so on which are a key aspect of maintaining this position of non-punished crimes, which are specifically chosen for them to do and to get away with as long as they do not betray the pact to overthrow the United States government and the other effects underneath the Confederate arrangement, um, which specifically asserts their status and thus the action of having the privilege of committing higher and higher and higher offenses derives their ability of asserting status amongst the confederacy as anyone can do a low-level offense anyone can get away with a medium offense etc 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 the high grade interesting chaotic perverted diluted things such as the acts of actively having the orgies with important people where you're having gay sex where you're fucking the important person in the ass these types of things assert dominance and the facilitation of the consistent 
re-entry into their application of having been important to the Confederacy, and thus asserted their position that they are important because they can do X, and thus the degree of X certifies their viability in the entire arrangement, and thus the action of claiming that their victims are offensive is counterintuitive to those who understand better, and thus must be expressed uniquely as the specific thing censored about the parties pursuing them has exponentially gone well beyond that point in the offensiveness in the specific series of offenses making the unique thing and thus the people being hyper radicalized as individual people are smart and groups are stupid and thus the hyper radicalization of groups to engage in this position where the person is radicalized and in degrees of separation where they continue their delusions is actively a part of the strategy at which point the person would actively be attacking the lesser which is not actually guilty in order to protect the greater consistent offense of similar variations which would have active ties in committing the offense in the illusion for the victims, at which point they would actively be protecting the thing that they claim to be offensive in all of its variations in order to have destroyed the targets in the slave raiding arrangements by the Confederates according to the Advanced Fugitive Slave Act function from the Confederacies where they engage in necessary force in order to win in cases which is the function of bypassing due process in its entirety by their kangaroo courts, which are absolutely the opposite of a legal court, and can closer be affiliated to clan rally, as law is dead, but you still have the court. Thus, you have the illusion from them still pretending to be their victim nations, which they've overthrown, where they systematically engage in crony capitalism for their <gasps> white supremacist communism, which creates the banana republicans, and thus the banana republic. And the nom nom republic is little more than massive plantations, which is the Confederate national capitalism. As each nation from those individuals from each plantation trades on a capitalist platform with others amongst the nations, including and especially each other. Now the act of representation is an expensive arrangement and thus the engagement of needing the active profession to be able to be paid for the specific representation as its own specialty, which requires them to have received their original contracts or to have been accelerated into those original contracts in order to be able to perform these activities under the illusion that they're viable parties in order to do that. And to this extent, the exponential expansion includes all of the objectives according to the illusion, which is the thing that they're choosing it for instead of the legal reality, which they are actively avoiding. And to this extent, their obstruction of the free market contracts engages in the function of the law of starvation and the war of attrition which breeds it and so thus the active restraints against the capacity to have conducted the work for profitable returns in the liquid contracts which engages in all of the cost of business including paying paying them is obstructed as it is forbidden to the communism in order to challenge uh, their simulation by reality. And thus the act of threatening their lie with the truth engages in the permanent upset of their violent opposition. This generates needs for secrecy such as presidential privilege in their inferior laws, customs without reason, opposition to the constitutional obligation to have reported to Congress on each of the actions that they would be doing as the law states that they need to have done so 
and thus the action of doing so has to be reasonably within the reasonable amount of time, such as, but it's not limited to, immediately. And thus the action of actively delaying this as much as possible facilitates the capacity to remove it in its entirety until the engagement states that because the Constitution says it, they cannot do it because it's unconstitutional to follow the Constitution. And to this extent, they manufacture the enemy of war as the Constitution of these United States. They fully laundered the arrangement to the Constitution being the enemy, the act of protecting someone's status without due process, uh, to make the process itself the punishment by the Klan rally, engages in the activity of the perpetual destabilizing of the United States without the functional remedy, which would have required the government in order to have opposed or the use of the Second Amendment for the reforming of a new government loyal to the Constitution, so that it, in the absence by the insurgency of having a government, could acquire one, which is established as a process inside of the Second Amendment and established inside the rest of the Constitution. For any government that is destructive of these means, the means being the rights provided by the Constitution, the government must be abolished and replaced, and the people must establish amongst themselves a constitution fitting to their position, and to this extent you actively have the obligation, according to the constitution, just the superior authority in all situations, to engage in the action of forcing them to provide the remedies owed in the constitution, such as the obligation to go to the government for the remedy in a non-violent way, which includes the function of them not being allowed to block David engaging with the judges from the claims which they are obstructing as they play out their communism from their contract schedules. They allow for the censorship to be released or stopped in specific limited scenarios, but short of the entire thing, and thus the engaging of blocking of the claims, and thus the action of stopping the engagement of the government from the civilian point of view, which would have reflected David as the aristocracy, which then would have complete control over the entirety of all politics, requiring them to, if they're going to arrange other competitions, not just enemies of the government, but Republicans and Democrats and other parties that wouldn't have won would need David to be a political, requiring him to be the intelligence oversight, changing his status into something that is apolitical. And to this extent, the intelligence oversight requires them to engage in their connection with David Bowles without the representations in the classified position, which is above all of the classifications of the intelligence community, engaging in the activity of the sober educated answers for each of the policies and each individual violation is a subversion of law and having broken the law by the sedition of stopping the action from happening is its own individual offense which was completely intended as accessories before the fact to accessories during the fact to accessories after the fact as an ongoing consistent offense which has not ended as they have not stopped the engagement <clears throat> of actively investing in its protection. As the conspiracy was to do the entire grouping or unit of offense, which means every violation inside of the puzzle is itself the entirety of the puzzle in and of itself, and thus the entire thing can only be maintained by <clears throat> a mousetrap type of arrangement. You take away any part and it ceases to be a mousetrap, which is the time that it stops being a mousetrap. You set the mousetrap, you say, hey, we have mice. Uh, I need to get a mousetrap. You get a mousetrap, you set the mousetrap. It needs all three parts. You set the mousetrap accessory during the fact, and then you clean it up after you've killed the mouse, and then you consistently maintain each and every aspect of the part, which cannot exist without all of the other parts, and thus is an ongoing single offense, which 
includes all of this stacking subordinate functions, which would have various degrees of potency in the obligation to punish according to law. As they maintain these functions of rape culture, which is its own offense in the mechanism of overthrowing the government by the Confederates' treason in their coup, which they've been applying actively, at least from the 80s, probably from the 70s, and most certainly would have been happening in the 60s. And thus the action of them engaging in their accessories to that overthrow of the government would have actively been happening as long as there was a confederacy in the hearts of the psychopath. And in these systems, they would have had the active supporting structures from that mousetrap scenario where any part missing collapses the entire arrangement, engages in the active corruption of military personnel, such as having them swear loyalty to the president instead of to the constitution, and thus undermining the thing, and thus engaging in the action of the act of separation from the ability to refuse an illegal or unconstitutional order, and thus the action of subordination to the president, which having been captured by the Confederates, has systematically, by voter fraud, been the only ones allowed. So the only options being Confederates actively destroys the system, and thus the action of in judges, where <clears throat> the enemies of the United uh, of Israel in the arrangement, having removed their capacity by infiltration, having taken over the government, removed Israel's capacity to engage in the possession of swords or other weapons, actively engages in their malicious abuses according to that pretense, and in that arrangement, actively engage in the permanent set by hybrid warfare in order to have conquered by peace what they could not by war, and thus the action of God having to save them from their own infernal stupidity is an obligation, and likewise the United States has to go through that same process of saving itself from being controlled by its adversaries, who would swear to the insurgent voter fraud president over the Constitution, which is the qualifier for them to have a right to the office and its equipment and all of the benefits, such as the training that they've acquired for the position, and to this extent, the active mechanisms of the crony capitalism is white supremacist communism, is the act of treason. And thus, the use of the bias-led looking glass program allows for them to plan out the mechanisms of that white supremacy as the competing druids of the confederates engage in the function of asserting their portion of the market and its various due diligences, materializing by the biases their obligation to have reinforced the illusion, creating a bias, reinforcing itself, and layering this on exponentially until they've materialized their manifest preferred option where they're engaging in all of the insider trading, not just the ones that they are avoiding telling you.